Hey yo, it's your boy William or Sleeping Powders or whatever you want, hell you want to call me, I don't give a hell. And if you guys are wondering, well, what what the hell you've been doing over the last one month? Why have you been posting? Well, first of all, I have posted a couple of things on my other channel called Push Entertainment. Do you know what's just cringe? <laughs> but anyways, but it's only like three videos, three or four videos have been uploading over there. Nothing that much, but yeah, I am back to making videos on this channel. Also, have a hope you had, guys had a happy Christmas. I hope you had a great New Year's, and I'm just here doing my updated Gorillas collection video. I was meant to do this uh, last year, but I didn't do it because I was a bit of a lazy ass. You know what? I'm gonna actually do it after Christmas. But I've been playing a certain game recently. I think it's called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, it's sick. Also, I'm thinking about uh, uh, remaking some of my some of my videos. So, for example, on my old video, I don't I don't think I can have an example. But, you know, stuff. Also. I saw, I remember this video, it's my first ever video on this channel, it's called, uh, Human Deluxe with you. Jeez, I, my first reaction to that was like, Jesus, I never thought my voice was that high. I will show you a clip right here. Hey guys, it's me, William, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to review the uh, Humans album, the Deluxe Edition. Yeah, that, that, that was high. High pitch boy. So um, and yeah, I'm gonna we I'm gonna update my grey collection. I'm gonna go through some stuff, all my grey stuff, starting with the CDs. Starting up with a uh, grey self-titled, you know, it's a classic album. E yeah, sick. Next up is grey self-titled again, but it's uh. I think it's special or limited edition. Yeah, it uh, is a flip out and also has a booklet. I can show you that quickly. Boom! There it is. There we go. I'm gonna skip through. I'm gonna fast forward all this. So there you go, that's, that is that. Jeez, I haven't talked in a video in a while. Well, technically my last video is when I talked, but I use a cringy ass fuck application to do it. So, um, yeah, so it technically doesn't count, so I haven't talked in a while. <laughs> that's why I'm awkward as fuck here. Yeah. <laughs> Next up we have uh, Tomorrow Come Today EP. It came out in 2000. A year before it got itself titled, and it has uh, tomorrow comes to uh, you know what? Let's see. Focus. Focus on your build. How can you not focus? You know, how about I just stay in one spot? You know what? This villa. But anyways, it has uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow comes today. Walk for the house. That's in Timona, the English version, and 1-2-D-3. Sick. Next up, we have Clint Eastwood. You know, Clint Eastwood. Check in there. It includes uh, Clint Eastwood, the Ed Case Refix, uh, Dracula, and Mia Hans video. So, um, yeah. Next up, we got 19 2000. It's 19 2000. <laughs> you know, look at the art inside. Uh, this includes uh, the original song, uh, the Soul Child remix, and uh, Left Hand Suzuki Method. Yee! Next up, we got G Sides. G Sides, you know. You know that album, right? So I surely know. Yeah, cool. Inside. Yee! Next up we got Like I Come Home. 
like it's like Come Home. It's not really that good of an album, mainly because it's a remix album of the self-titled, and they weren't good. I'll say that. Next up, we have Demon Days, the best Gorillaz album. Fight me. Uh, yeah. It just looks cool back. And yeah. It is another version I got from my uncle. And now it's just the same back. But the thing is, in the inside, it includes uh, MTV uh, ringtones. I think it's MTV, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, you get ringtones for you, every single track on the album. Yeah. Next up, we got the special edition. I haven't got with the booklet version for some reason. Kind of made me sad the first time, but whatever, you know. It's a fold out, you know. It goes to Noodle, then it goes to Murdoch, then it goes to Russell, then it goes to 2D. And voila, sick. So, yeah, you can then change it from anyone. So, let's say instead of Noodle, you get Russell. You know, sick stuff. But, you know, I always like to go with the order of bands that I like worst to best. So, 2D. Yeah, I think 2D is my least favourite. Fight me. Murdoch. Oh, no, 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 no. No. It's meant to be Wasp, not Murdoch. Yeah, go Murdoch. Then Noodle. Bam. Next up, we got a European uh, limited edition of Demon Days. At the back, it includes one extra track, which is a uh, Hong Kong uh, live version. Yeah, it's Hong Kong live. And yeah, it's the white cover and stuff. I meant to come up with stickers, but I used them and I moved houses, so I don't have them anymore. I know, gutted. Next up, we got Dirty Harry, a well known song of the album. Yeah, I know, that's what the inside is. And this, uh, it has other versions, this single, but this has, uh, can this, can this for once if it's alive? Like, Focus, like, oh Jesus, that actually quite worked. <laughs> so it includes Dirty Harry and All Alone Live. Uh, yeah, Dirty Harry. Next up we got D-Sides, which is not as good as G-Sides. Again, fight me. So yeah, we'll check the back. Uh, 68 day. CD2 is the big problem of this album. Like, literally, it is. Like, this disc is full of, uh, the second disc is full of remixes. I would not have a big problem with it, if it weren't for the fact that it took, like, most of the album. I don't think much of me half. And, like, wait, how many tracks are on this thing? Uh, 24, so they do not take most of it, thank God. Uh, no, no, it's not 24. It's Flipping 22. Oh no, I say flipping, that's bad language. But, you know, it's. The biggest problem with it is that basically the remix is suck ass. Next up is a pretty much a side project, which is uh, Mon Monkey Journey to the West. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Gorillaz, but people say it's Gorillaz. Even Jamie and Damon say it's Gorillaz, so. Yeah, I still count it. And it comes with a booklet. If I can actually get it out, you know, it includes art and uh, you know the fantastic art. There you go, monkey journey to the west. Sick. Next up, we have Plastic Beach, which is, isn't better than G Site. For the last time, fight me. So yeah, I actually think this album's not good, at least alright. Yeah, the, the back, you know, sick stuff. And the inside is actually alright. Uh, uh, I'll get the CD right here. I need to get the experimental version of this, because I, I really like to get that documentary. There we go. Uh, 
Can you actually like that? That's actually annoying. That's actually a weird CD, if you ask me. And uh, let's get the, um. There we go. And let's see what the inside of it is. Sick me boy. So yeah, Plastic Beach, uh, like I said, is not as good as uh, G Size. But yet again, it's still a good album. And uh, yeah. Next up, we got The Fall. It's The Fall. The inside is blank with some text in it. Uh, and the CD is just blank, but with plenty of text in it. So, um, yeah, The Fall is a Fall, it's an interesting project, I'll say, but yeah, again, it's not as good as others, so, let's just put that. Next up, we got the singles collection, uh, the back is basically a collage of all the art, and the front is a collage of all the art, and let's go inside, it includes a poster and a booklet, and you know, a CD cover, which is a banana. With backlist and right there. Can this actually once in a lifetime actually show? Like, hmm, I don't know if what cameras could be this useless. Anyways, uh, yeah. That's an singles collection is alright when you try to get into Gorillas and you want to get the first CD. This could be one of the first CDs you get. You know, just to like see what the music's like and yeah. Next up, we got the singles collection again, but it's a limited edition. It includes uh, two things first, well, a couple of things. First of all, it shows it has a CD, if we can actually get this out. And there we go. But yeah, it's a CD because you can see that has a banana. I love bananas. Not really, I'm not a big fan of bananas. And, um, uh, oh yeah, I think I haven't showed you inside yet. Uh, there you go. Uh, on, on this side, it includes a couple of things if I can actually get it out. First of all, it's a poster. Um, there you go. Next up, it includes a DVD. Of all the music videos of every single track of the uh, singles collection. You know, it has a pair on it. That's how you know it has. It's a DVD, I guess. So, yeah, we've got that in. So, it's a normal like, collector's thing to get if you also want to have the DVDs for some reason. Uh, if you fan of non Blu ray, uh, DVDs then there you go it's sometimes in not like good quality but you know I'm just rehashing what who do hoodlums said is this collection video so uh, well stops that right now next up we got humans and I think humans is better than uh, plastic beach so again you know I'm not even gonna do that joke again but yeah on the back is actually a normal piece of artwork if I can actually look on it. I actually need to. I could just. There you go, it's the best quality I could do for fuck's sake. But yeah. Turn around. And also, I think this is actually quite cool. First two few music are dangerous. But yeah. And yeah, the back is Murdoch. It has other band members on it as well. There's other editions of it when you can have 2D's face, Noodle, Noodle face, uh, Russell's face, and the Murdoch's. And I got the 2D version because I got it when I, I was actually a big fan of 2D. Which was, uh, God. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that and move on to the Deluxe Edition. You know, turn it around, it's a Deluxe Edition. And it includes a booklet. Um, cock it. Um, you know. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this. Now 
And there you go, there's artwork at the back. So, um, yeah. I've, that's the human still looks review thing I told you about. Oh, I swear to God, if you actually look up that video, prepare to die of cringe. I don't know, just say that the video's good or something. I don't know, just like it or dislike it, do it how you want. And, uh, and this side has the deluxe CD, and this side has the normal CD. So, um, uh, yeah. There's a bat. Nearly the same thing. And last of all, for the CD section, we have the Now Now. The only Guerrero's album that I've actually pre-ordered on CD. I actually think this album is alright. It's not as good as Humans, but... You know, still a pretty nice album to have. There you go, that's what the inside looks like. So yeah, the Now Now. My favourite track of it is Sorcerers. So, uh, yeah. So part one, the CDs are over now. Well, let's move on to the vinyls. First, starting off with Gorilla Self-Titled. I've talked about this album already. I've talked about all of these albums already, but you know. The inside, you know, is what you would get with, if you get like the book of the original edition, the non-special edition. And you know, the back, it's normal. Uh, if you look in there, it's an artwork that you would get a view of the booklet of the special edition. I already show you them, so it's no point that much of showing them that much again. And uh, if only I have a good lighting in here, but uh, okay, that's good enough. Uh, there you go, that's what the vinyl looks like. So there you go. Hey, uh, Greatest Self Title was my second favorite Greatest album. And uh, yeah. Now let's move up to Demon Days. This isn't the original 2005 copy. It's the one that I did get it from for, uh, Merch Me, I think it's called. I might be wrong, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen right now. But I got this from that website. And it looks pretty cool. You know. And the inside is a lot more cooler, in, in my opinion. Just look at this. Look at this, boy. Look at this. And, um, there's the, uh, they have pictures of the uh, band members. And each other side, the pictures are just like alternate versions of those faces. Looking a bit more evil, a lot more sinister, a lot more dark. There you go, I can show you the other side. Um, there you go, that's Russell on the other side. It's a uh, noodle. Yeah, not taking them out again because it was a pain in the ass getting them back in. Ah, oh, shit, I spell what the other side is. <laughs> oh, sad. But who the fuck is? Because next up is obvious. It can't be obvious because I have Plastic Beach. Booyah. So. You know, looking at the back, it's the same. The inside, sick. Uh, looking in there, you know, cool stuff. And bam, and the other side, oh, cool stuff. Yeah, there's in the other side. And the vinyl, of course, is a bit different. Oh. It shows a pirate ship this time, instead of a air jet. Next up, we have humans. Remember the back? Uh, the inside. Oh. Pingers. <laughs> uh, the inside uh, shows the two band member photos. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, each side includes one band member photo. There you go, in this case there's Noodle, and this side is Russell. And then let's go to the other side. And it has this, and the two pictures are 
uh, this side there is a Murdoch, then it's 2D. There you go. Humans, uh, like, I already gave my opinion on it. Any of his albums, so that's though. So that's why I'm a bit speeding up in this bit. And, and next, last up, we have the human. Oh, uh, not humans. Fuck. Uh, now, now deluxe box set. Let's check what's in here. Oh wait, first of all, let's check in the back. Sexy, I know. Uh, let's look in the inside. Yeah, includes three photos. Two uh, D on a guitar. Uh, the band member about Murdoch and other, uh, Ace. And uh, yeah, there's a picture that you get at the back of the booklet in the CD. And then there's another photo. All four of those are in the actual uh, album. There you go. There's the vinyl itself. And this is actually a cool thing. Uh, yeah, there's the back. Look, the vinyl is blue. I know, why? Sick stuff. Sick stuff, dude. So yeah, there's what is inside. You get badges, 2D's private journal, uh, download code. Uh, I will check, I will quickly check through all the out. I'm going to go for backwards. So let's go. There you go. Yeah, this is actually quite cool thing to get. Oh, and also the back. No more unicorns anymore. I don't get those fadings and uh, Gorilla's albums. Because stuff like Save Us From Him, G's, The Magic Number, Pop Propaganda, uh, Disease, Drink Together, Youth Against, uh, Youth Against Infants. I don't get it. Is it like a part of the album or something? Or like... Is it like meant to be in phase five? I don't know. So, uh, yeah. This is uh, the now now. Deluxe. Now we're going to the merchandise side of things. Start with books. First of all, we've got the Jamie Hewlett book, which I know is all, not all about gorillas, but there's a section all about gorillas, so it counts. Uh, look at the back. Uh, I need to uh, cover a boob there. You know, I'm going to try to cover it anyway, so. Don't you worry. So yeah, it shows all of Jamie's work for over the last you know, 25 years or something of his career. Uh, I'm gonna go to the, you know, I'm gonna start with, you know, see what other Jamie stuff has been working through. He's he's actually a good writer. If she, I like his art style and all that stuff. It's actually quite sick. But you know, you get art, nice stuff. I need to look out for the booby art because there's like plenty in this book. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. You know, you know, like I said, there's a bit about good withers, nice stuff. And, uh, yeah, that book's actually must have if you're a big Gorillaz fan or big fan of Jim Hewlett in general. Next up, we have the Demon Days music book. It's not a lot to say. It's a music book on every single track off Demon Days, other than the intro, which. It's a bit sad, but you know, it starts with uh, artwork and all that artsy bitsy stuff. Yeah, it's also a great album. Uh, not a great album. Great book to have if you wanna, you know, work on gorillas music, do your own covers and stuff. I might do in the future. I need to get used to playing instruments like. And last of this uh, category, there is uh, a G Magazine. This is basically a Google's magazine, you know, talk about stuff like ABCs of 2017, uh, Crate Digging with a Noodle, Russell Hobbs on Ghosts, 2D's Talk Simps, and That's the Last Day of Earth, Murdoch uh, Nickel Sky to Love. Uh, there's a, uh, oh, yeah, there's an interview. And uh, yeah, there's a plenty, plenty of stuff in this book. I, Oh, magazine. If you actually have it, I recommend you know having a little look through for it. It's actually it's actually alright. Well, not alright. It's amazing. And uh, also, you know what? Yeah, if you somehow find this, then you know go and find it. And also it comes things like badges and uh, 
posters. This is one of the example here. You know, it's a double sided poster. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now we're on the merchandising and other weird bits, starting with a cushion. A sofa gorilla cushion. It's not a lot to say, it has the Demon Days cover. It says stuff at the top. Yeah. There's some gorilla badges I have. You know. Cool stuff. There's also an autograph thing of gorillas. It says happy birthday to you, Rudolph and Nichols. Uh, this, I got, I haven't got it on my birthday. I had it on Christmas of 2017. And a they had, there you go. This it all shows. So yeah, the, okay. This uh, certificate certifies that this file has been printed directly from the original item, actually signed by Damon Albarn and Murdoch on separate occasions during February to March 2012. This is a limited edition, 150 individually numbered copies. So, um, yeah, and I have a uh, number 69 out of 150. <laughs> Someone told me I got lucky with that. Next up, I got uh, Good Rulers Phase 1 Celebrity Takedown. It's not actually a good CD, it makes you go through Kong Studios on a sh lockdown. Uh, when you're going around, you get like Good Rulers G Bytes, you get songs you get performances you get to look through stuff no no sorry in there um you know uh, this uh, is the actual cd but this, and also this contains a map this also contains a cd one which makes you play games such as final drive the noodle fight and also it makes you save like backgrounds and stuff which are t uh, outdated nowadays because they're based those backgrounds basically fit on the 2001, 2001 computer. So yeah, you can probably see the problem out of that. But yeah, if you really like to go through uh, the, the play, if you like Con Studios, go get this. And Phase 2, I haven't got Phase, haven't got phase 2 yet. I really need to get that. Next up I got a watch of Demon Days. You know, it's a watch. Nothing special. There you go, that's actually good, better lighting now. So yeah, this is a post what I got. Stuff. And also, there is uh, stickers that you get with the... Uh, well, some of them. Some stickers that you get from getting the magazine. Those Dream Magazine. Yeah. There's some vinyl stuff hanging on the wall past the beach. And also some ticker I got for get going to Gorilla's Live back in 2017. And last of all, there's a vinyl clock of Plastic Beach, the vinyl. So yeah, this concludes my collection video. If you like it, please hit the like button. You know what? Just, if you like it, just press the like button. Or if you just like it, just leave the fuck, leave the fucking video. I don't even care. I'm not desperate for likes or anything. I just wanna release this right now. So yeah. You know what? If you actually dislike this video, leave the dislike button or leave. I don't even fucking know. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in another video. Peace out, dudes, and I hope that 2019 will be a good year. A good year. Fuck, I can't even speak.